So I started the guitar by throwing two bowls, one big one, one small one. I cut a quarter of the big one off, I cut a two, about a third of the small one off, and I stuck them together. Uh, then I rolled out a slab in the slab roller. I flipped the entire thing over onto that, uh, and then made sure that was completely put together. This is the electric guitar I started working with. I cut the sides off of it, I cut the bottom off of it, I, uh, and then I began to start to shape it and sand it, which is when I started putting on all this gear. So I started to taper the edges. Uh, the whole concept behind uh, this design was to keep all the tension from the strings on the wood section. So if there was going to be any kind of breaking, it would happen in the wood instead of the ceramic. So there is the drying ceramic. That, that's the guitar flipped over from how you'd seen it before. I'd cut an F-hole on the top. So I cut the bottom out, and you can see this is turning really into like a, just a skeletal structure to hold the bridge on. I wanted the bridge to be attached to the wood again so the tension would stay on the wood. Because um, I had actually read a, a story on the internet about a guy who started tuning up his ceramic guitar <coughs> that he was very excited about and it exploded uh, from the tension. So this is the headstock. I carved it myself uh, it, with, with a Dremel tool, tapered it, uh, put it into the shape that I, that I thought was pleasing. There is the bisque fired uh, piece, so that's ready to be glazed. Meanwhile, I uh, was staining, wood conditioning, uh, the wood. Basically, I finished sanding it. I put all of the masking tape on uh, to cover up anywhere that I didn't want to get stained, and then I started staining it. So I put wood conditioner on, then I did uh, uh, some stain, and then a couple of gloss coats. <clears throat> uh, so this next photo is of, uh, I had sprayed the guitar uh, using an air gun. Um, I sprayed the glaze on to give it a nice um, even coat. There's a finished headstock and stained uh, neck and body. Here is the finished uh, body ceramic body and finished guitar body uh, with the neck and the bridge and I put the strings on before I put it on to the guitar because I was worried about the tension turns out I've been able to detune and retune this a bunch of times and it hasn't been a problem so there I was just seeing how it would go then I glued it I used it, this extremely strong adhesive that I, uh, it's this construction grade adhesive. Uh, it's kind of like you put it on and it's just never coming off again. Um, so you can pick up the guitar by the neck and it's just, it's no problem. <clears throat> I covered up the adhesive with the, uh, with strips of leather because um, I thought that uh, it was going to look cool. Go with the wood and the uh, kind of olive tone of the guitar and here is the finished guitar. Sounds great. Sounds almost like a banjo, actually, more than a guitar. Uh, great for slide playing, great for blues playing, uh, bluegrass. Uh, it's like got this really plunky, really cool thing going on. I'm going to make a bunch more. I'm actually in the process of building four more of these uh, different styles. It's the finished headstock. And the body and the detailing on the side. And that is the ceramic guitar.